Tidal stream turbines are similar to wind turbines in that they have blades that turn a rotor to power a generator. The turbine is placed underneath the water where there is strong tidal flow. Because water is about 800 times denser than air, tidal energy is more powerful than wind energy. Tides are also predictable and stable. Where tidal generators are used, they produce a consistent, reliable stream of energy. Tidal stream turbines are best located in areas of the world that have a strong tidal flow. Tidal stream turbine designs will differ depending on the type of technology used and how they are positioned underwater. The turbine could be suspended beneath a moored platform floating on the surface of the water fixed to a foundation held in place on the seabed by its own weight, or by monopile which sits cemented in a pre-drilled hole in the seabed, or the turbine is suspended in the mid-water column. Regardless of the design, installing a tidal turbine will follow the same general process. At the early design phase, scale testing takes place onshore in specially designed facilities. Test tanks are used to power the principles of operation and to understand performance characteristics. Due to the costs and complexity of recovering installed turbines for preventative and unplanned maintenance, it's very important that tidal components and the complete tidal turbine system are thoroughly tested before being deployed for the first time. Specially designed facilities, such as the offshore renewable energy catapults marine drivetrain test rigs, can help to reduce the risk of failures before going offshore. Other parts of the system must be tested before being deployed offshore, such as turbine blades, subsea cables, connectors and subsea hubs. Once the turbine has been tested on land, it can be tested offshore at a special real sea test facility. This may be a nursery site such as the Falmouth Bay Test Facility in Cornwall, where the turbine is tested in benign conditions. When the device is ready to be tested under real world conditions, then a developer could go to the European Marine Energy Centre, EMEC. EMEC is the first and only centre of its kind in the world to provide developers of both wave and tidal energy technologies with purpose-built, accredited and grid-connected open sea testing facilities. And in France, the Pampol Breha test site is an open-air laboratory for testing tidal turbines in environmental conditions that allow the robustness of the machines to be tested. This saves developers the time, risk and cost of creating their own demonstration sites and provides them with access to experts to advise on optimising installation and maintenance processes, as well as providing independently verified performance assessments. The tidal stream industry is working hard to continually improve the designs of tidal turbines. It's supported by leading universities and other research facilities that carry out specialist research to better understand the potential energy held in tidal flows and improve our understanding of tidal turbine performance. Industry initiatives such as the Tidal Stream Industry Energizer project, known as TIGER, is the biggest ever interreg project driving collaboration and cost reduction through tidal turbine installations in the UK and France. The TIGER project's mission is to drive the growth of tidal stream energy to become a greater part of the energy mix, with significant economic benefits for coastal communities. It will build cross-border partnerships to develop new technologies and test and demonstrate them at a number of locations around the Channel region. It will use the learning from the project to make a stronger, more cost-effective case for tidal energy as part of the European energy mix to help achieve our net zero targets and help tackle climate change. To find out more about tidal stream energy and the TIGER programme, take a look at these online resources.